hi everyone welcome back new video new vlog and this is definitely going to be more of like vloggy style again like the last few videos i've done i've just been really enjoying like the kind of casual style content and i think you also have like going by the views and the comments and everything so we'll keep it like that <laughs> but i do want to show you kind of more some more fashion-y stuff in this video as well because i love fashion and that's kind of what this channel like started as really i do obviously lots of vlogs and stuff but fashion is like my number one so i still want it to be on my channel throughout all this and it's just one of those like feel good things isn't it it just like makes us feel good about ourselves and it's a great distraction so in this video i'm going to show you a couple of different things so number one i did actually get some new luxury um kind of accessories before all this craziness happened and honestly i've been like dying to share them with you but obviously with everything happening i wanted to make sure i was waiting for the right time and like disclaimer like i'm gonna show them to you i got them before all this happened and in no way am i kind of like telling you you have to go get them but they're really really beautiful and i actually have put together a little pile through a clear out that i did yesterday of luxury pieces i'm gonna sell so these are kind of like swapping in for them and i always always try to do that to like justify it and make room and not have too much so i'll show you them anyway and then i'm also kind of going to show you my spring wardrobe refresh i did i really like spent a lot of the day yesterday just fixing some things and clearing out and like just changing things around a little bit i think that even though we're in this whole situation i think it's still important to do your spring clean in your wardrobe i just think it will make you feel better and like lighter so i did that so i'll talk you through it and i still actually have to do these drawers so i might film myself doing them so you can see and then i also want to show you some like casual outfit ideas because for me anyway i've been saying this in all the vlogs i have got dressed like 90 percent of the time throughout all this like every day i put on an outfit it mightn't be the fanciest outfit i've ever worn but it just makes me feel good so i want to show you some like spring outfit ideas that you can wear at home so they're still going to be very comfortable they're not going to be too fancy but they're just going to be outfits that make you feel put together and good about yourself because obviously you can do loungewear and i'm always in loungewear in the evening but throughout the day i do feel better when i have like an actual outfit on so i'll show you some ideas for that and yeah if anything else comes up in between i'll also vlog that and i probably will vlog today and tomorrow so i'll vlog some of the stuff i talked about today and then i'll probably do like the outfits and stuff tomorrow so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy it okay so first i'm going to show you the new pieces that i got um i am so excited to share i finally bit the bullet on this brand and then some other little bits so i'll pop up the camera now and i'll quickly show you okay each. that light should be good so the three pieces that i got are from farfetch which i'm sure is no surprise <laughs> to lots of you who watch lots of my videos they are like an online designer website and hands down my favorite one to shop from i know there are so many but farfetch like for a good while now i would say like probably bought my first piece on Farfetch. I think it was my Givenchy Antigona. Um, I bought that like four or five years ago from them. So I've been a fan for a long time. And these three pieces, so I was supposed to be going to St. Barts in the Caribbean. Literally my dream trip. I got invited on a press trip there and we were supposed to be going, I think next week, the 4th, April 4th, but obviously that's not happening now. And I had some other trips as well, but hopefully they will all happen very soon and I will be very organized for them. <laughs> so I will show you each. Um, I'll show you these first. These are actually so beautiful. So they're from Saint Laurent and it is a jewelry piece. And I just, oh, I saw these on their website and I don't know, sometimes it's kind of hard to like buy jewelry online, but I just knew these would be a great piece to have. And just for like every season, not just like spring, summer, this will do me all year round. So basically they're these earrings and this part is the YSL. Yeah, it's focusing a little bit better. And then this hangs down like they're so stunning and i'm not like you know the biggest statement jewelry person like as you can see my jewelry is like pretty simple my rings are always pretty simple but i do like to have like a nice earring 
because I wear very plain clothes, I wear very plain colours, but there's something like when I'm at an event or when I'm at a dinner, like I always notice people's earrings. I just think it can elevate an outfit from like a four to a 10 so quickly. And it's such a simple accessory. So I didn't have any like good statement earrings. Like the ones I have are like, high street version. About 80% that I have are kind of more high street versions that I've got and I just wanted to start building my, you know, my good quality collection. So I thought these would be really nice. So let me just pop one on for you so you can see it on. So nice. Okay, so this is it. Obviously this outfit's a little bit casual for it. Um, but could you just imagine like a plain black, like really chic, classy dress and then you just like add in these and they're so simple like so so simple but I loved the subtle YSL and the part that's like on your earlobe and ignore it now with the necklace but oh I just think they are so stunning so if you're on the search for some earrings or you're on the search for like a present maybe for someone because obviously birthdays are still happening and everything and we can't really like see people in person and everything even Mother's Day was just passed by and Oh, it must have been so hard. Like, we're kind of used to not being with our mom on Mother's Day, but I'm sure there was lots of people that it was very hard for. But at least if anyone you know is having a birthday or a big occasion, at least we can still, you know, send a present or send some sort of a token. So I thought that these could be a good idea for that or just for yourself, for any, like, things you have coming up later in the year or for wearing around the house working from home. You could see me doing that next week <laughs> when I started to go a bit crazy. So that's the first piece I got. Um, then the next thing I got was for my trip especially, but this is definitely a classic that I'll have now for the summer and every year to be honest. So it comes in this little packet. It's Versace. And this is actually my first Versace piece. I don't have anything belong to them and I just really loved this when I saw it, like, how cool, oh my god. So as you know, like with swimwear, I do love my even neutral colours in swimwear, like a lot of my swimwear are either like black or white. I, I do like some pastels, I love a baby blue, um, but I love a black either bikini or swimsuit. Like the black bikinis and swimsuits that I have, they're the ones I keep every season, like they never get like, you know, moved on to something else i always keep them so when i saw this i thought it would be such a good piece to have so obviously you have the versace at the top and then it's kind of like a lower back which is a nice little feature and then also there's like a little bit of support in like the boob area as well so it's kind of hard to see now with the light but there's like another piece of material here and the quality feels so nice it's kind of stretchy so it's nice on it's soft it's just you can tell it's like a good brand and good quality and yeah I just had to have it and I actually don't usually buy like very expensive swimwear like I wouldn't buy like a hot pink designer bikini you know because I feel like I would get sick of that but when it comes to like black and gold and just like this classic style I thought it'd be such a cool piece to have so yeah that's like my fun piece <laughs> and I can't wait to wear it I literally will be so happy when we get to go on a trip and finally wear this it's like ready to be packed straight away so that's the second piece okay and then the last piece the third piece is a new piece from Bottega Veneta which if you're familiar with it's a brand that has just like blown up is absolutely everywhere um kind of since like last year it's been around obviously but it's really become so popular and so trendy within the last year and there was honestly so many bags that I've looked at belong to them since they've kind of like hit the popularity. Like even I was in Capri last year, I looked in their store in Italy and I was so close to pulling the trigger on the pouch bag. But there was just always something that told me not to do it. And to be very honest, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I feel like that bag, I love it. I love it on people that I follow. I think it really works, but I just think, I think I would have, not got tired of it but I just don't think I would have got enough use out of it and I just thought it was very expensive for what it was if I'm being very honest so 
ever since that bag I've obviously been keeping an eye on them and just kind of looking for like one of their styles that I would that I knew I would truly love and like wear loads and was very me and I finally found it and I pulled the trigger um their bags sell out like crazy like they really do so when I saw this and I'd seen it on a few people and I looked at how they styled it and I saw some people during fashion week wear it so when I saw that it was available on Farfetch in the color that I wanted I was like like, yeah okay this is like the time to do it I'm finally gonna bite the bullet and yeah so I got it so this is the bag that it comes in so I got the mini Jody shoulder bag and hopefully you can see this now it is very bright in here but it is like a white almost like tint of gray kind of color it's the woven style that I went for and and then it has like this little handle and I know this isn't everyone's cup of tea I think it's gonna be a bag that is gonna split the opinion and I totally get that I think this brand in general is very much like you either love it or you hate it but with this bag I just loved how people I saw were styling it so I think it's almost even hard to tell on its own when you look at it but I have so many outfits in my head that I'm gonna wear this with and I just yeah that's how I kind of like know when to buy a bag when I see it and then I know exactly how I'm going to style it and I think it is the kind of bag that you have to see like in a full look but it's so beautiful it's so soft like the leather is so soft and obviously that's what you're paying for with this brand so I barely have even opened it yet I was like saving it to show you but let me just take out this and I'll show you the inside so the hardware is gold which you know is very me I'm definitely like a gold hardware over silver and then you actually like there's a bit of space in there there's a lot of smaller bags on the market that I don't know how people justify because you literally can barely fit your phone in there but this is actually like I could definitely get my camera in there which is a big plus when it comes to a bag get my phone my card holder it's kind of hard to show just the way the design is but yeah it's pretty spacious if you can see and it's very safe it obviously has the zip um yeah i really really like it and i'm glad that i got it before it goes everywhere and this actually does come in a few different colors i've seen people style the red as well which is really cool i think and like you know me i'm not a colored bag person i'm very much like my neutrals and classic and that's the way i always am but if you are into more like poppy colors this comes in like a red it comes in a beautiful baby blue like an icy baby blue um, and it also comes in different sizes so I got the the mini which is obviously like the cheapest option but it comes in like I think a small and like a larger one as well so there's lots of other options if you like this would be too small for you but I kind of want to just like dip my toe if you get me like when it comes to a new brand I don't want to I don't want to like dive in before I like fully know you know how I feel about it so I just started with the little mini one and yeah that's it so stay tuned to see how I style it and the reason that I ended up getting the white color is because just the last few weeks when I've been kind of putting together outfits like before all this happened and we were still shooting and stuff I definitely noticed that I was missing like a white kind of summery bag and even when we went to Miami for my friend's hen party like I was just missing a bag like that and I do have one white bag from two summers ago I bought it but I've decided to sell it and I'll show you that now actually so when I kind of made the decision to sell that it just doesn't really feel my style anymore then I knew I had to like invest into another like white more neutral style bag so that is why I got that one so that is the Farfetch kind of mini haul. Hopefully you liked everything. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I'll link them all down below as well in case you wanna look into any of them and I'll link the Jody in the different colors and the different sizes and hopefully the earrings are still there and also the swimsuit. I'll have a look now for you and I'll put all the links down below. And yeah, so that is the first part of the video. Now I'm gonna kind of show you some new like organization pieces I've added to the room. I'll show you the bag I'm gonna be selling. And yeah, just some other little bits I've done too. Okay, so this is a quick overview of like where I store all my stuff basically. Looks a little bit overwhelming right now, <laughs> but I promise it's um, better when these are like closed and stuff. But the first area that I wanna show you just in case you're new, this is the shoe wall I put up. It's all Ikea shelving, really inexpensive, so easy to do. I have like a whole separate video on it if you think that this could work in your 
um, apartment or house as well. The shelves are really good, like they're really long and they're not too wide. So they don't like block too much light or anything coming in, which was like a big thing for me. Um, so I have five for my shoes and then I just have some like taller boots down here and then the new addition that I added that I want to show you I added an extra one <laughs> for my bag I probably should have put up six anyway first day because we have like really high ceilings so we might as well use like the space it's a New York apartment it's obviously not huge so you really have to use like every corner and every spare space but I'm really liking having this and one of these bags up here is for sale which I'm going to show you but I will just kind of show you the rest of the organization first in case you're looking for any ideas or just inspiration to get some organization going. Um, so this is another little corner that we used. I got this rail from a really cool brand on Etsy. I'll link it down below and then the shelf like comes with it. It's really really chic. I love like the gold and it's really good quality so I have like some knitwear hanging and then also knitwear folded on top and one thing I really want to show you are these dividers they're so good um I just recently put these in and they've made such a difference they're not like falling over on top of each other now it's way easier to keep them tidy and like folded well and stuff so I really like them and then I have this dresser from Amazon so this area as you can see the mess on top this area is like what i've left to do it's like my underwear and fitness stuff and then there's just a few things usually folded on there some of them don't belong there <laughs> so yeah i'll tidy out that at some point in this video and then the last part is where i keep like basically all the rest of my clothes so it's pretty spacious in fairness for new york it's actually like very well done i thought when we moved in all this area is for my blazers i tried to kind of color coordinate as much as i could tops up here loungewear hats my bigger bags that are too big for like the shoe bag wall then i have my trousers here which again we have these dividers which oh my god like literally the best things ever i'll link them below and i don't think they were that expensive they're from the container store they just slide in really easily and then here i have dresses and jumpsuits and then this annoying thing is full of my summer clothes and I just think it's too early to like do the swap over and obviously we don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully by summer everything will be back to normal but who knows. So I'm just going to leave them in there for now. I'm going to clear it out probably like next week and just see is there anything that I know I won't wear this summer and I'll donate or organise to sell. But for now I'm going to leave it there and just leave it for like a job for next week in case I'm looking for something to do by then. And then closed up that's how it looks so so yeah even though we're using like every space we possibly can it doesn't feel like overwhelming in the bedroom because i think that it's very you know calming kind of colors which is good so yeah try and keep anything that's on display as neutral as possible that's like a trick i always try and do so yeah that's what i did yesterday just got all that organized and looking better and i have a huge bag put aside of things that i'm going to either donate or organize to sell and this is such a good time to do that in your wardrobe i think like even if this whole quarantine wasn't happening like i would still be doing a video like this this time of the year because it's spring a good old spring clean is always needed this time of the year just you feel lighter after it like there's definitely things that you're ready to part with. My rule is always like when I'm getting new stuff in, old stuff has to go, things I haven't worn. Even if it's like a good quality piece and I've like invested into it, but I'm not wearing it, I have to set it on, you know, and try and like make a little bit of the money back. And on that note, a bag I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm kinda sad to leave this go, not gonna lie, but it's just not being worn enough. This is how I get up to. <laughs> the top shelf someday i'm gonna fall okay so this is the bag i don't know some of you might have guessed but this is actually like i think i have one other white bag but this was like my main white bag that i used to have for summer it's from call it gaia it was definitely a very like trendy bag when it came out first lots of people got it in like the wooden kind of tone but i decided to get the white and i actually did get a good bit of wear out of this i'm not gonna lie like i did bring it on lots of trips um the first summer I bought it, but I found that last summer I definitely didn't reach for it enough. I, I did bring it on some trips, but I should have wanted to bring it on every trip. So I'm gonna sell this one on. 
I'm probably gonna put it on like my Insta story maybe. So if any of you are interested, let me know. It's basically as good as new. Probably wore this like 10, 15 times max. So yeah, I'll be selling it for a good price. So let me know in the comments if any of you are interested or else like send me a DM or an email or whatever and I can get back to you. While we're here, I actually have been meaning to ask your opinion on this one. Another bag I'm like kind of thinking about possibly selling my Chloe Nile and I actually didn't think I would ever even want to sell it um, I bought this I think it was three summers ago at this stage and it's a really really beautiful bag like I loved the hardware I thought it was like a pretty good price for what it was at the time it's lasted really well but I just found last summer and like even when I was packing for the Miami trip I didn't bring it with me and you know when you're packing for one of those like summery kind of trips and you're not reaching for something that's very summery that's when I kind of got a little bit worried so let me know in the comments what you think should I sell this on and put the money towards something else in the coming months or later in the year or should I keep it let me know so now I gotta get back to work for a little bit Kellen's here with me, keeping me on track. Still here, guys. <laughs> um, did you let me know as well? Let's, yeah, I think you did enjoy the skincare chat. Yeah. And also, Kellen, okay, loads of people want to do the agony ant thing. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do it though? Where I are they saying the question? I think maybe like, I guess maybe email them or DM maybe them. Maybe email. Maybe, do you know what would be better though? Maybe to put a box on the screen on a story. So they'd be all yeah, together. Yeah, but maybe not everyone from YouTube follows me on Instagram. Yeah. Um, I think email. Email, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, I'll put my email here on the screen and I'll put my email down in the description box as well. And obviously, everything will be anonymous. Yeah. So if you're sending a question, we won't say like any names or anything. We'll just like it's say agony the question. Ant. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. agony ant. So we'll just say the question Still and then we'll answer. Name. No, someone came up with a good one. Um, oh, it's in the comments. Uh, no. Something with retro. Uh, Oh, I forget, but it was good. So yeah, email us some questions and we'll do that next week. That'll be funny. Mm -hmm. I must do a little bit of work now. I'm filming another video as well today, so I want to kind of get on top of that. And then I think when I get that done, I'm going to attack those drawers in my bedroom, the fitness stuff, because they're just, I can barely open them at the moment. There's so much stuff because I got some new fitness gear. So it's time now to like get rid of any old pieces and just like give it a refresh so I'll pop my camera up when I do that later and then tomorrow I will show you some outfit ideas just wanna dance want a simple romance nothing more nothing less from you just stay the night and you leave when it's like nothing wrong it's all right with you no ties Day. I got all the organizing done and I'm gonna show you the outfits as promised today did my hair and makeup and everything so I'll try on everything for you um, it's 17 degrees Celsius in New York today of course it is so stunning oh, look at that blue sky like such a beautiful spring day um, this is kind of when it gets a little bit hard to stay in but I have the windows open and I am gonna go now for my daily like midday 10 minute walk and i'm gonna grab a coffee while i'm out there as well obviously to take away i'm still getting like coffee like some days um just to like support the local businesses and do what i can oh my god the drilling it's still so loud um but yeah I said i'd check in before i go for my walk i'll show you outside i know you're probably sick of seeing the exact same place <laughs> i walk every day but i haven't left my neighborhood in close to three weeks at this stage um definitely two weeks anyway but i was kind of doing this quarantine thing before it even started because i'm such like a nervous person about everything um it's yeah i'd say it's like this would be the third week now so yeah 
Oh, that's the reality. But I did my hair and makeup. I actually spent a bit of time at it today. I did my NARS foundation today, which is definitely fuller coverage because I'm going to film a Q&A as well. And when I film kind of sit down videos, I like to have a good bit of coverage. So I have that on. It's really nice. I'm wearing the shade Sahel because I did tan. I'm all tanned up for the weekend, lol. Um, I think me and Tommy are going to have like a little bit of a date night either tonight or tomorrow night, like dinner and wine and stuff you know to mark the weekend so i figured i would do my makeup and i curled my hair this is like day two hair which is always better yesterday was day one hair and it was really flat so much better today but anyway i'm just blabbering on so i'm gonna grab my jacket go out get some fresh air enjoy the 17 degrees for 10 minutes and then i'll come back in and show you the outfits New Yorkers like dream day, green spring day. Oh, hopefully soon. Back home and honestly I feel so much better. Even just the 10 minutes makes a difference to my day. But anyway, I'm in my first outfit to show you. Here's a sneak peek. So I'm gonna try on, I probably will do like three or four outfits and I'm gonna like style them with the shoes and the bags and stuff. But obviously if you're working from home, you don't need to put all the accessories with them but just for the video to show you so just imagine these outfits with slippers instead of normal shoes and stuff but they're a mix of some new pieces i have and also some old pieces from my wardrobe so i'll show you now okay outfit number one i'm going with an all pistachio minty green look if you've been watching my channel over the last couple of weeks you'll know this is like my favorite color hands down this spring and i'm always a fan of green obviously with my hair but just these tones are so beautiful together so this new cardigan is from revolve and it's this really soft material so like really comfy for working at home it feels like loungewear but it obviously is a bit more dressed up and then these trousers are from marks and spencers really impressed with them a lovely fit they have pockets they're a nice length i think they're called the mila I think that's what they're called so i'll link them down below and like they're stretchy they're not too stiff which is perfect for when you have to sit down all the time and then i've obviously just put on some fancy shoes but this will be with my ugg slippers and then the new bag i said i would just pair with this to show you this is the kind of look now that i would definitely wear this with just so simple but it adds like something to it i will link everything down below okay again ignore the accessories but i want to just show you the full look so this is like a fail safe kind of outfit from home it's still really casual but you just feel good in it so mom jeans which i'm choosing because they're obviously very like stretchy and not too tight and then this is a new top i got i really love it it's this square neck long sleeve top and the material is really really soft so again such a nice one to have at home then i popped on a vintage gold necklace the bottega bag again my dior shoes and yeah that is everything you could do a belt with this as well if you wanted i just kept it kind of plain for this very quick and easy outfit ready to go okay outfit number three um oh what i would give to be going somewhere right now wearing this outfit these are mango pants i've had for ages now i got them tailored so i took up the length and then this cardigan is from urban outfitters i was wearing another color in this in my last video it's so soft and i actually love that the sleeves are quite long it just i don't know it feels very comfy for around the house and stuff and um, the only thing is though they are very cropped like i like a cropped cardigan but these are like really cropped because these pants are so high waisted. I actually thought that they would kind of like meet more. Um, I think I'd prefer it if it was like that. But yeah, another really easy outfit idea. Okay, last outfit. A little bit dressed up maybe for home, but I just really wanted to show it to you. These are new pants I got from Marks and Spencers and they actually were... A little bit on the pricier side so the quality is really good so i actually could see myself wearing these like while i'm home because because of the good quality they're very comfortable and like they just feel good on so even though they're leather i still would wear them like if i was working from home and then i really wanted to show you this shirt look at that color so stunning it's from a brand called lily silk and i actually got a few 
different um, shirts from them. It's silk, they're just beautiful. They do such a nice like range um, and I love this detail. So say if you're like still obviously working from home and you have to do a lot of um, Skype calls and Zoom calls and like FaceTimes and stuff, this could be a really good shirt. Like you still look very put together but it's so comfortable because of the material and it's so soft. So yeah, I'll link all these down below. That was actually so fun. I highly recommend taking a half an hour like this weekend or next week or whenever to kind of like shop your wardrobe and plan some outfits. Like even if you can't even think of anywhere to go, <laughs> like you can't even think that far ahead, like it's actually therapeutic to kind of put them together. And for me, it's such a good distraction. Like I think always for me, fashion is just one of these things I love. I love the process of putting things together and seeing how they look and trying them on and stuff. So if you're like me, I highly recommend it. Take some time to do it and we'll all be very, very organized for all the places we have to go after this quarantine. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here because I don't wanna make it too long and I know I've already shown quite a bit so let me know what you thought of it if you liked this kind of vlog fashion kind of format and I can do more I can think of more ideas or we can put more outfits together or like chat shoes or just bags or I can pick like kind of topics to touch on and yeah I'm always open to your ideas so let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe as well because that will let you know whenever I have a new video as always I do Wednesday and Sunday but you never know, I might have some extras over the next few weeks because I know obviously you're at home and you're watching and you seem to be enjoying, which I love to hear. And yeah, that's kind of it for today, guys. I'm gonna go get changed now, do a few more jobs around the apartment. I have a bit more work to do. In the meantime, you're gonna kind of have a bit of a date night tonight. So I'll probably leave on my makeup and I might put on a nice top and just pretend <laughs> we're at a restaurant. And then the rest of the weekend, I don't really have any plans, surprise, surprise. I have to edit this video and I think me and Ken are gonna do another Bake Off, so I'll vlog that for like an upcoming video. I think we're gonna do cookies because they're like pretty easy and straightforward and I mean, who doesn't love cookies? Like it'd be such a nice treat to have for the weekend. So stay tuned for that. I hope you've all had a nice weekend by the time you watch this. Stay safe in the upcoming week, eat well, be good to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Take some time out to like do things that make you happy and feel positive. Don't spend too much time on your phone. That's been a big help for me. And then try and get some fresh air far away from people, um, you know, once a day. So that's my little message at the end of the video as usual. So I'll leave it here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.